wote tunawashukuru wote watazamaji wetu ni kwa sababu ya kufungulia runinga yako ya EBN na zaidi pia kukubali kujiunga pamoja nasi wakati huu ambapo ni wakati wa devotion ni wakati wa kuweza kumuinua Mungu na kuleta maombi yetu mbele zake na pia kuweza kupatia mioyo yetu nafasi tuweze kunenewa neno la Mungu kwa popote pale ulipo Ezekana uko nyumbani, ezekana ni asubuhi, ezekana ni jioni, ezekana unatazama kupitia your television set, ezekua unatazama kupia kupitia uh, your mobile phone. May God bless you so much. We really want to appreciate the fact that you are viewing us and you are part of what we are doing. Na pia tunataka tukukaribishe. Usitazame tu lakini wacha moyo wako, ungane pamoja nasi to adapo kuleta hii ibada bere zake bwana is another blessed week that god has given unto us and we are rejoicing because of what god has done for all of us naitwa pastor patrick toka kanisa la ebenezer grace ministry na together na mimi ni watumishi kutoka the same church na karibuni sana tungetaka tuweze kufungua program ya leo kwa neno la maombi na nataka kuamini ya kwamba itakuwa ni ya baraka ngeoba wa sister Angela aweze kutupeleka bere za Mungu akishukuru pia kwa sababu ya watazamaji wetu kwa sababu ya the new week na nataka kuamini ya kwamba tutabarikiwa sisi wote pamoja karibu sana wa sister Baba yetu na Mungu wetu tunakushukuru asubuhi ya leo tunakupa sifa Bwana kwa kuwa unastahili milele Mungu wetu wewe ni Mungu mkuu, wewe ni Mungu usiyeshindwa Jehova. Wewe ni Mungu mwaminifu Bwana kwa maisha yetu. Tunakupa sifa Baba asubuhi ya leo kwa kuwa wewe unaweza mambo yote. Tunanyenyekea mbele ya kiti chako cha enzi mtakatifu Baba yetu. Tukiamini ya kwamba Jehova hakuna mwingine aliye kama wewe. Tukiamini ya kwamba Jehova hakuna mwingine ata, ataweza kutuwezesha kama wewe Jehova. Ndipo Bwana tunainama mikononi mwako asubuhi ya leo mtakatifu. Tunatubu kila dhambi Jehova Mungu wangu. Chochote Bwana mtakatifu shetani amepanda ndani yetu. Baba wa mbinguni Jehova tunaomba Yesu wa mbinguni Jehova ukaweze kungoa na mizizi katika jina la Yesu. Asubuhi ya leo Jehova tunatengemea damu yako. Tunaomba Bwana uwezo wako na nguvu zako. Tunasema ni asante ni kwa msamaa wako Jehova asubuhi ya leo. Tukitanzama Jehova Mungu ishie milele maisha yetu, tunasema kwamba Jehova hatutaweza mila wewe. Tunaomba Bwana uwezo wako na nguvu zako Bwana zikaweze kutuongoza. Tunaomba mkono wako Jehova ukakue upande wetu Mungu wa Israeli. Baba mahali popote Jehova chochote tukifanyalo mtakatifu wacha baba wa mbinguni roho wako mtakatifu akakuwe mwalimu ndani ya maisha yetu katika jina la Yesu Kristo tukiweka watanzamaji wetu mbele zako Mungu wa Israeli tunaomba Jehova Mungu wangu chochote bwana tufanyalo mtakatifu tukakuwe na umoja bwana katikati hao na sisi katika jina la Yesu Kristo tuunganishe bwana na roho wako mtakatifu Wacha neno lako Bwana likaweze kupenya katika jina la Yesu. Wacha neno lako Bwana likaweze kutua ndani ya mioyo ya watanzamaji katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Tuwezeshe Mungu wa Israeli wiki yote Bwana tunaiweka mikononi mwako. Tukiomba uongozi wako, tukiomba uwezo wako na tunaomba kibali chako Mungu wetu. Wacha mtanzamaji Jehova akaweze kuona mkuu wako katika jina la Yesu Kristo tuongoze Bwana na utupe nguvu tusaidie katika kila jambo kwa kuwa Jehova Mungu wangu hatuwezi bila wewe tunainama mikononi mwako tunanyenyekea katika jina la Yesu Kristo tunaomba na kuamini amen nataka niwakaribishe to the reading of the word of god nataka tuanze our devotion kwa kutazama ama kuweza kuisoma zaburi ya Tisini na nane I'm going to read the nine verses Psalm 91 From verse 1 All oh, sing to the Lord a new song For he has done marvelous things His right hand And his holy arm 
have worked salvation for him. The Lord has made known his salvation. He has revealed his righteousness in the sight of the nations. Verse 3. He has remembered his steadfast love and faithfulness to the house of Israel. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation of our God. Make a joyful noise to the Lord, all the earth. Break forth into joyous song and sing praises. Sing praises to the Lord with a lyre, with the lyre and the sound of melody. Verse 6. With the trumpets and the sound of the horn, make a joyful noise before the king with the Lord. Let the sea roar and know that fills it. The world and those who dwell in it. Let the rivers clap their hands. Let the hills sing for joy together. Before the Lord, for he comes to judge the earth. He will judge the world with righteousness and the peoples with equity. Nigetamani to revisit verse 1. Ambona sema, O sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done marvelous things. Sing to the Lord a new song. Tunahimizo na neno na mwadishi wa zaburi tuweze kumuibia mungu wibo mpia. A new song, what is the new song? Wibo mpia ni kila siku na kila wakati unakubari moyo wako weze kumuletea ibanda mungu sio zile tuli kume muletea jana sio tu kwa sababu ya mambo ambayo ama vile ulikuwa ukifanya Every other day you have a new reason to tell God thank you. Kama vile sasa tunaingia another week, we are singing a new song of praise to God. This is a day ambayo hatujaishi ndani yake tena. Na Bwana ameturuhusu tuingie katika hii siku. Na kwa hivyo kila umoja wetu anafaa akuwe na wimbo, akuwe na maneno ya kumsifu Bwana kwa njia mpya na kwa sababu ya siku hii jipya. Na tunaambiwa ya kwamba because he has done marvelous things. Mambo abayo mungu ametenda ni mambo makubwa. Ame kutedea makubwa, my brother. My sister, wherever you are, God has done marvelous things for you. I know at times, unaweza kosa kuyatambua kwa sababu labda kuna uzito mwingi abayo na yapitia. But at times, it's good you give yourself a break na waza kumeditate. The great things ukianza kuhesabu yale Mungu mambo ambayo yamekutendea. Roho yako sasa hivi tunaongea inapiga. Yawezekana ya kwamba una uzito umekufunika lakini Mungu hajaruhusu kaburi ikumeze. Mungu hajaruhusu roho yako izime hata kama umefinyika. Hata kama kuna vitu nyingi hauna. You can afford to sing a new song to Jehovah. He haijawezekana kwa sababu ya utajiri. Haijawezekana because you are the most qualified. Haijawezekana because you are the best in the world. Kuna watu ambao they were more righteous than you. Kuna watu ambao walipenda Mungu kukushinda. Kuna watu ambao waliogopa Mungu kukushinda. Lakini wengine wamemazwa na makaburi. Wengine sasa hivi wako katika shida hata kushinda ile ambao unayapitia. So we all of us can afford to sing a new song to the Lord because of the marvelous things he has done unto all of us. Siku ile ulizaliwa ni wengi walizaliwa hata wengi hawagine hawakuona jua hata siku moja. In the whole world millions and millions of people are going through difficult issues. Lakini mwanadamu sana sana naangalia ga yale mambo anayapitia na anaanza kuvujika moyo. Rise above the time Rise above that disappointment and join us during this time and during this program. Na useme ya kwamba, I will sing a new song to the Lord. Na nisakubari macho yangu ya one of the marvelous things that he has done. His right hand and his holy arm has worked salvation for him. Bukono wake wakume, umeleta wakovu kwa watu wake. Na tunaona pale verse 5 ya sema ya kwamba, sing praises to the Lord with the liar. Sing praises 
and with the sound of melody the lord is encouraging us or his word is encouraging us ya kwamba we make music we allow our voices we open up our mouth verse 6 says with the trumpets and the sound of horn tutumie zile zile trumpets na tutumie vitu ambazo zinatoa sauti we make a joyful noise before the king even our god let the sea roar hata bahari ambayo ni maubile ya mungu ina himizo ya kwamba iweze kutoa sauti kwa mawimbi yake na iweze kumwabudu bwana kwa sababu yeye ndiye anayeyumba and part b of verse 7 inasema ya kwamba the world and those who dwell in it wewe ambaye unaishi katika ulimwengu huu the bible is uh, the bible is appealing to you yeyote ambaye anaishi katika dunia hii ale yote yule ambaye anasikia sauti yangu we are obliged tuweze kumsifu bwana let the rivers clap their hands yani inatumika lugha ambayo ni symbolic wacheni ama mito ambayo pia ni maubila ya Mungu inaambiwa ipige makofi yake na hata milima iweze kuiba nyimbo kwa hivyo vitu vyote ambavyo viliyopo na Mungu they are supposed to give him praise kama mito inaambiwa ipige makofi kama milima inaambiwa i shout na wewe mwenyewe je ambaye amekupatia mdomo amekupatia mikono amekupatia uwezo you can afford to open your heart to open your mouth even before we sing together and you individually sing a song of telling god thank you from deep within your heart despite whatever you may be passing through my sister and my brother in christ choose to tell god thank you choose to elevate him he has seen you through the weekend he has given you a new day he has given you a new a new morning he has given you so much he has worked marvelous thing to your life father we choose to worship you today we bless you lord we exalt you we exalt you we exalt you wacheni tuwakishe tuwakishe madhabahu ya kumwabudu bwana Whenever we are scattered in this nation whenever we are scattered in the nations of the world choose to be counted amongst the those who bless the lord choose to be counted amongst those who exalt his name choose to be counted amongst those who reverence god from within their heart eternal father we choose to reverence you today We choose to praise your name. My dear Jesus, we worship you. We worship you, Lord. We exalt your name. So your name. So your name. So your name, Holy Father. We worship you. We join the mountains. We join the rivers. We join the sea. We join the birds of the air. We join the angels and the cherubim. We join in all those who acknowledge you father we choose to worship you we crown you with the praise burandi tutuko hai bwana tutakuta kuwa burandi tunapumzi ndani yetu tutakupa sifa na heshima burandi tutunaongea tutaendelea kuendoa burandi tu bwana we are living we will continue worship you we honor you God. We worship you. We honor you no one like you. We exalt your name. No one like you Jesus. You are guide us as we sing songs to God and as we allow our voices to make melody before the Lord with reverence from deep within our hearts in Jesus name. We start off by a prayer that our Lord Jesus taught us before he left our Father who art in heaven. Hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come and we be done on earth as it is done in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us lead us not into temptation but deliver us from the evil for there is a kingdom the power and the glory forever and ever amen tunakuja mbele zako Mungu kuleta ibada na kuabudu pokea sifa na Hallelujah. 
heshima zote nina kilia Hawaifananishwa katika maisha yako. Mwambi hawezi fananishwa na lolote, hawezi fananishwa na chochote, na yoyote yule. Hakuna Mungu mwingine ila ni yeye. Mletee sifa za ibada na moyo wako katika jina la Yesu. Come on and the Lord in the whatever time it is, whatever praise you are in. You can approach the Lord with the words of your mouth. In the name of the Lord. This was say that the name of the Lord is a strong tower where the righteous run and they give you a refuge. We run to you, Jesus. We esteem you high, Father. We have thrown you high, Lord. We have thrown you high, Jesus. Hallelujah. How far an How far an Do not let us see for Ibana come a Hallelujah. Yes, Pokea Ibana, a moyo Yes, Pokea Ibana, a moyo one. 
Ningetaka tuweze kufanya maombi ya kukabidhi wiki hii na shughuli zote ambazo tutakuwa nazo wiki hii bere zake Mungu Na ningetaka tuweze kusoma andiko maneno ambayo Yesu aliyasema katika kitabu cha Mathayo sura ya saba na mustari wa saba. Sema hivi Ask and it will be given to you seek and you will find knock and it will be opened for you for everyone who asks receives and the one who seeks finds and the one who knocks it will be opened for you we all have a good week ahead of us na nataka kuamini ya kwamba mimi nikiwemo na pia wewe ukiwemo kuna mambo ambayo ungetamani Mungu akuwekee wiki hii akufanyie wiki hii kuna milango ambayo iko mbele yako na unasema ya kwamba pastor there are doors ahead of me ambazo ningeomba wiki hii ama mwezi huu ama katika maisha yangu Mungu aweze kunifungulia inawezekana ya kwamba ni milango ya kazi inawezekana ni milango ya promotion inawezekana ya kwamba ni milango ya mambo fulani inawezekana hata ni mlango ambapo naomba ya kwamba Mungu naomba katika biashara hii nipate new customers there are doors that you desire that they be opened before you na pia kuna mambo ambayo you are seeking excuse me kuna mambo ambayo unayatafuta labda wengine wanatafuta healing labda wengine wanatafuta reconciliation labda kuna broken relationships in your families there are things you are seeking you are seeking jamii yako iweze kusimama you are seeking peace in your family hayo ni mambo ambayo unayatafuta na biblia yatuambia ya kwamba ask and it will be given ni jambo gani hilo ambalo unalitamani ndio Mungu analifahamu lakini anatuambia ask na unaweza jiuliza kama Mungu unajua ile kitu ninahitaji why do i have to ask asking huwa inaonyesha you recognize god asking huwa inaonyesha ama unatambua ya kwamba i know yule ambaye ninamuitisha ana uwezo wa kunipatia ukimwelekea mtu na umuombe kitu in the first place unakuanga ume acknowledge he is able to give me ukisema nisaidie kuingia mahali fulani katika ndani yako unakuanga na ile picha ya kuamini ya kwamba i know this person can help me kwa hivyo kuomba ni ishara ya kumtambua Mungu na kuna mtu fulani aliniambia ya kwamba kutoomba ni kiburi aina ya juu sana. It's like you are showing God I don't recognize you able to help me or kama sio hivi wewe unamuonyesha I am self sufficient. I am able to make my things move. So whenever we ask God who is symbolic ama ni inaonyesha ya kwamba we recognize he is able to help us. We recognize ana uwezo na pia tuna recognize he exists na diposa basi anasema ya kwamba everyone who asks receives and everyone who seeks fights and everyone who knocks the door it to be opened for him Amen. so this hour and this morning it may be an evening or whatever time what need do you have my brother and my sister in christ what is that you are desiring what is that prayer what is that bothering you before you go to people lift it before god mara nyingi tunakuwa na ile haraka ya kuendea watu kuomba vitu kwa watu sasa tunapata ni biashara tunataka kufanya provider umechukua pesa kwa bank hata hauna haja ya kuuliza direction ya Mungu unaenda tu una invest pesa na zikianza kufail ndio unaanza kukibia kwa Mungu na kumuliza direction even kama unahisi ya kwamba you are successful you can ask god for direction You can ask God how can you become more prosperous? You can ask God for safety and protection. So all of us this hour nigga tamani you take a minute you take a short time and you mention that need before God. I just want you to give I want to, go, to give you a few a few seconds or a few minutes na uweze kuhispa that prayer before God. Mention it before God brother. You know what you desire. He is saying ask and it will be given to you. Yes. Seek 
change from me and you'll find it. Knock and I'm going to open the door. Just who is my prayer before Jesus? Tell God Jesus, this is my need this week. As I do it personally as well, do it personally wherever you are, brother. God, hujibu maombi. Yeye hujibu maombi yetu. Tukimuomba. Tukimulilia. Tukimuita. He's an our God who answers prayers. Butu wanaeza shido kubema mizigo yako. Watu wanaeza shido na wewe. Wengine hata wanaeza kukusukuma. Wengine wanaeza kukutakia mabaya. But the good thing be all of us came from one God who is able to help those who cry unto him, those who seek his help, those who seek to be guided by him. Oh mighty God, oh mighty God, your people are praying to you. My sister, just exercise your faith. We pray a, a living God Angetaka tuweze kuweka imani yako kwake Chochea moyo wako Don't allow yourself to be discouraged Don't you allow your heart To go down Rise above that issue Tunaye mungu anayejibu maombi Tunaye mungu wabai ufungua milango Tunaye mungu wabai hutetea watu wake Rise above that time Do not be disappointed Do not be discouraged do not give up. Give it to the Lord. I don't want to give it over to Jesus. I don't want to Hand over that situation. Hand over that case. Hand over that crisis. He can listen to you. He's healing you. He's right here. He's right here. Where's the Kwan Yoshemi Kono? What about Wana Kuit? What about Wana Kulilia Bona? What you want to imagine? There's nothing. Bilango about Wana Ibisha. Tuna Tangaza Itafunguliwa. We declare those doors to be opened by the grace of the Lord Jesus. Wana Una Jibu Maomi. Una Jibu Maomi. Tuna Oba Tende Watuka. Tuna Oda Watende Wakibaze. Wali Ochini Wainu. Yes, Lord. Kupitia Mitambo here at Television. We speak live. We speak live. Tuna Tangaza Usima. Tuna Tangaza Nema. Tuna tangaza kibari Popote pale hii mitambo inaenda mbwana Tuna oba uzito wote uye yuki Kubu za kuzimu ziye yuki Kubu za uovu ziye yuki In the mighty name of Jesus Thank you Jesus Itaka tuibe wibo na osema kunae mungu binguni Jibuwe maombi yetu Tunapomba ya hujibu maombi He's a God who answers our prayers. And I want to believe. Chuchote kile ambacho mekipele kabere zabona this hour. Our God. Who hears prayers. Who answers prayers. Who is living. Who is merciful. Who reaches out to his people to help them. Brother, don't you worry. Sister, don't you worry. Ame kusaidia na ame kutetea. Shete boza koya mazande. You pour mungu bingo As it is I am Thank you Jesus You call mungu bingo I ajibu ye maombi yangu Nina pomba Asikia Anajibu Nina pomba Siki ya maombi ya chuchu wambi ya yupo Yuko mungu kikubu Siki ya maombi ya chuchu Oh, you poor mungu, poor mungu, be 
Nijibuye kwa moto Baba umwamini Oh yupo Mungu Mungu Kujibu kwa wazi Omba, omba Omba, omba Omba, omba Kafute uso Kwa onaye Onaye kwa siri Yee mungu Kujibu kwa wazi Kila siku omba Omba, omba Omba, wewe Kafute uso Silence before the Lord as we meditate about His greatness this hour. Bwana wewe diyo wezai kuyajibu maombi ya watu wako. Tumekuwa budu kwa kutulie bere zako. We surrender the warfare that your people are fighting to you. King Jesus, you are our friend, our God, and yet our brother. You who died for us, you who is able to identify with the pains and the sufferings that your people are going through. How we pray for your leading and for your guidance this new week, this new day, even this new year. We are not able to do anything without you. We depend upon you. Just like the way we depend upon you for our heartbeat, for the breath we are breathing. Lord, we depend upon you. We choose to put you in the forefront. Tumechagua buwana kukupatia kiti cha kwanza na tunatangaza wewe diwe mungu na umeinuliwa. Umeinuriwa katika hali zetu. Umeinuriwa katika afya za watu wako. Yawezekana kuna wengine wana COVID siku hii ya leo. Yawezekana kuna wengine wana cancer, wengine wana diabetes, wengine wameumia sehemu tofauti za mili yao. Jesus Christ, you came from heaven to take away the sufferings of men to break every bondage and to set your people free. You are telling us to seek and you fight. Yes. To knock the doors that are going to open. Tunabisha mulango kwa sababu ya huyo dada. 
We declare she's not going to die. We declare hata finiliwa na iyo hari. Hata bebo na COVID. Tunabisha milango ya uponyaji bwana. Tunatangaza katika anga hii. Neno la uponyaji lifikia wale wote ambao ni wagonjwa. Wengine wana hofu kwa sababu ya their loved ones. Oh God, we join our faith together. Nasema ya kwaba moja can chase a thousand. Hall two can chase ten thousands. Tunaugandisha imani yetu pamoja. Na kutangazia taifa letu. Na kutangazia our cities. Evil will not prevail. Bwana anga yote ya u. Ya hofu. Mbao imefundika taifa letu. Hofu kwa sababu ya corona. Hofu kwa sababu ya makonjo na fifo. Tunakata katika jina la Yesu. Bwana tunaadhiri mazingara kama watu wa Mungu na tunatangaza nuru ya Mungu. Kifo hakitatawara, hofu haitatawara. Bwana mauti haitatawara katika taifa hili. Unatuambia ya kwamba we are the light of the world. Sisi ndio chumvi ya ulimwengu. Tunaweka testi mahali shetani ameleta testi mazizi. In the mighty name of Jesus. Bwana tetea watu wako. Tunainua mwenge wa Bwana Yesu katika mahospitali, katika nyumba za watu, katika biashara za watu. Tunaungana na watu wote wa Mungu. We speak life where devil is spreading death. In Jesus name. Brother wherever you are, exercise your faith. Imani ndio kifunguo. Hofu kutoka kwa shetani. The opposite of faith is fear. When you embrace and cow and engulfed by fear, huwezi kumwamini Mungu. Kuamini Mungu is resting assured that God is powerful and he is able to change that situation. Exercise your faith as we pray for those who are sick, as we pray for those who are downtrodden, as we pray kwa wale ambao they are suffering. Hata wale ambao wamekuwa very successful tunatangaza amani ya Mungu tunatangaza ulinzi wa Mungu msifungo na msiletwe chini Roho mtakatifu wa Mungu tunaomba you take over the lives of men and women boys and girls in our nation tunaomba nuru yako Roho mtakatifu take preeminence katika makanisa Take pre-made me nezata katika taifa letu Bwana Na tunatangaza ya kwamba Taifa letu halita anguka Hatuta kuwa na umwagikanji wa dam Bwana Wewe hata mwaka huwa Mbapo tunaenda kuigia the ear ya erections Tunaomba amani Tunaomba wewe utatawara Tunaomba nema yako Bwana Ulizi wako na guvu zako Zita leader taifa hili Yes, in the name of Jesus. Kwa jina la Yesu, tuseme amen. Amen. I'd like us to sing one praise in faith as we celebrate the Lord. And then after that, tutaenda kusikia neno la mungu. Na ninajua ya kwa baitakuwa ya baraka. So we can just have one praise kwa kifupi. Atibaye, we are going to hear the word of God. Angela. We are an overcomer because he overcame. Our victory is guaranteed. We are an overcomer. We are an overcomer because he overcame. Our victory is guaranteed. We are. I am an overcomer because he overcame. My victory is guaranteed. I am an overcomer. I am an overcomer because he overcame. My victory is guaranteed.
sisters and all our viewers takutangaza ya kwamba wewe ni mshindi na hautashindwa kwa sababu yule ambaye anakulinda yule ambaye amekutangulia yule ambaye unamtumaini yule ambaye umemuomba yule ambaye utaendelea kumuomba yule ambaye amekuficha na mabawa yake yeye anaitwa mshindi he is the lord god almighty the most powerful the most high the most wise the most great our god is our everything and all those who put their trust upon him they will never be disappointed you not be the first one to be disappointed you not be the first one to be defeated you not be the first one to be dismayed only hang on continue putting your trust upon god god has no history of letting his people down he will carry you through all those challenges yes. all those storms yes. wewe ni mshindi na uamini ya kwamba wewe ni mshindi shetani akikuletea mawazo ya kushindwa akikuletea mawazo ya kufa akikuletea mawazo ya kulemewa every negative thought take it captive na useme ya kwamba mimi sio pasti ya wale ambao walishindwa mimi sitakuwa miongoni mwa wale ambao wataenda down but i choose to believe god yes. and i rise up Hallelujah. by faith above every opposition in Jesus name you can say amen amen basi tunawashukuru sana watazamaji wetu it has been good uh, working together with you we also want to appreciate all those who have been writing us na wanatupatia encouragement for what we are doing tukiwa hapa na wewe ukiwa pale nyumbani we can only know you are getting blessed by writing a text na tunashukuru sana kwa wale ambao wamekuwa kiandika na wana to encourage may the lord bless you pia kuna watu ambao wamekuwa wakiobea hii program na nataka kuamini ya kwamba ndio bwana ametuwezesha kuwa hapa every other day tunasema god bless you our viewer pia kuna wengine ambao wamekuwa kitu support with their finances na deposit tumeweza kulipia hii kipindi and every remained on air we want to bless you i we want to say thank you and we want to pray that may god bless you and continue keeping you. Pia kuna wale ambao they are silent viewers. Hawa communicate na wako tu pale hata wewe ni wa muhimu. Mungu aweze kukubariki sana. Uh, for some time tumekuwa tukiangazia the issue of winning souls. Na tumekuwa tukiangalia vile tunaweza kuhusika katika kazi hii kubwa ambayo Mungu alitupatia ya kuweza kufikia mioyo na tuweza tumeweza kuangalia hiyo topic kama hiyo the, theme in divers way tumeweza kuangalia why should we win souls na pia tumeanza kuangalia vile tunaweza kufanya hiyo kazi ya ku win souls kuhusu mambo ya maombi kuhusu mambo ya kuchukua hatua na kuweza kufikia wale watu ambao hawajampokea Yesu na hata wiki hii kwa neema ya Mungu we shall continue with the same kwa sababu mimi moyo wangu naamini ya kwamba kazi hii ambayo tuliachiwa na Kristo tunafaa kuifanya urgently kwa sababu every other day shetani ako busy akihakikisha ya kwamba ametoa watu kwa neema ya Mungu amewatoa watu kwa utakatifu amewatoa watu kwa jia za kiungu and after that as the bible says mission ya shetani he comes to steal to kill and to destroy kazi yake yeye anaiba watu wa Mungu anawatoa katika utakatifu anawatoa kwa Mungu wao he comes and steals them 
and he steals their mind. He steals their lifestyle. Anaiba watoto. Anaiba wazee. Mbao walikuwa melewa vizuri katika jia za kiungu. Wamama ambao walilelewa vizuri katika jia za kiungu. He steals them. That's the mission of the devil. And then, anawaua. They are dead in their sins. Hata kama unaona ni kama wako hai. Unaona hawa watu ni wamekufa. Hata katika maruninga zetu tumekuwa tukisikia vitu ambazo watu wanatenda na una shida. Huyu ni mtu anaishi. Hapana, huyo mtu haishi. Huyo mtu amekufa emotionally, spiritually, they are dead. And then finally he destroys them. Finally wanaweza kuangamia na wanamalizika na hata wanatoka duniani hii wakiwa hajaokoka. Na kila siku ambayo inapita there are millions there are thousands of people who are going to hell who are being separated with God eternally. So brothers and sisters where by unanisikia in your marketplace kama vile tumekuwa tukisema na tunaendelea kurudia na Mungu atusaidie mpaka hii kitu yubike ndani yako na ndani yangu ni vizuri tujue ya kwamba sisi ambao tunamjua Kristo sisi ndio tumepatiwa hiyo kazi Amen. kama hakuna mtu alikuhubiria wewe siku ya leo haugekuwa umeokoka kwa hivyo lazima tuchukue the initiative we are the people that Jesus Christ anatutazamia we are the carriers of the message we are the messengers we are the salt of the world we are the light of the world na sisi ndio tutaperekea the world message don't assume they know wewe mwenyewe vile tumeona tumepewa kazi mimi nimepewa kazi kazi ya kufikia wale ambao hawajaokoka sio ya pastor sio ya bishop sio ya apostol ni ya kila mtu ambaye ameokoka na kama vile tulisema siku ingine ni ya kwamba wewe kuna mahali unaweza fika ambapo pastor wako hataja fika kuna watu mnakutana na wao every other day na umeokoka na mchungaji wako hakuna siku atapata chance ya kumfikia kwa hivyo my brother and my sister it is your responsibility wewe ambaye you have the mark of the blood of Jesus Christ wewe ambaye Yesu ameku amekuokoa amekutoa kwa giza hakukuleta tu katika wokovu ili ukae tu kwa kiti lakini kama vile tutaona na tumeendelea kuona ni ya kwamba Jesus Christ called you for a purpose he saved you for a purpose katika jamii yenu hamjaokoka nyinyi wote katika shule ambayo unaenda hivi ya student hamjaokoka nyinyi wote katika hiyo plot unaishi hamjaokoka nyinyi wote mahali unaenda kazini hamjaokoka nyinyi wote why you let's listen to what Yesu aliweza kuambia wafuasi wake Anasema hivi verse 12 John chapter 15 verse 12 This is my commandment that you love one another as I have loved you Do you love one another If you love someone vile tumekuwa tukiona haugetamani aweza kumalizia mahali pabaya kama unampenda mtu utatamani maisha yake yawe mazuri na utatamani pia eternal life ikuwe sehemu ya maisha yake the bible says john 3:16 for so much god loved the world because of the way god loved the world kwa vile mungu aliupenda ulimwengu aliweza kumtoa yesu ateseke kwa sababu ya sisi tuliokuwa wenye dhambi. Na Yesu anatuambia hapa ya kwamba this is my commandment that you love one another as I have loved you. If you love your neighbor, you will care how he lives. Hautasema ya kwamba provided sio mimi na watoto wangu na maisha yangu I don't care. You should care brother. Jesus Christ is saying love one another. Ukisikia mtu amelala akipigwa huko na mume wake ama na mke wake you should care na the only way unaweza kusaidia hiyo jamii is pointing them to the cross is trying kuweza kuwasaidia vile wanaweza uganika na Mungu ni watu wangapi tunaachanga manyubani kwa ma plot na tuwapeleke hata katika nyumba ya Mungu kama una college ya kumhubiria ushai mkaribisha kanisani wengine ni akina mama mnazanga mnachanga wazee wenu wamelala nyumbani haujawahi mwambia my husband let's go to church you persuade them kwa sababu Mungu amekufunulia ukweli ya kwamba amekusaidia kujua ya kwamba the only way to eternal life is being hooked up to Jesus na Yesu anasema ya kwamba 
E, this is my command that, that you love one another. Do you love your parents? If you love them, tell them about Jesus Christ. Wengine tunaonaga ukipatia wazazi wako shiriki 500 ama 1000 ama 1000 ama 1100 umeonyeshana upendo wake. Sasa mimi ni vibaya. Lakini ujue huyo mzazi kama atatoka duniani hii kabla hajajuana na Yesu, he's lost forever. Na dipoza Mungu alitupenda na akajua ile zawadi kubwa naweza kutupatia ni njia ya kutuonyesha vile tunaweza mkaribia na tukae na yeye milele. Hata kama alitupatia chakula Mungu, hata kama alipatia wanadamu vitu zingine zote, kuna kitu ya muhimu zaidi ambayo na eternal life ambayo hakuna kitu ingine ingesaidia ama ingewezesha mwanadamu au ganike na eternal life apart from the death of Jesus Christ. And that's what he did. He loved the world na akapatia na mwanae wa pekee. Na Yesu akasema ya kwamba kama mume ananipenda, uh, this is my commandment that you love one another. As I have loved you. Number 13 ya sema hivi. Chapter 13. John 15, 13. Greater love has no one than this. That someone laid down his life for his friends. Hakuna upendo mkubwa kama huu. Ambaye mutu walitoa maisha yake kwa sababu ya marafiki zake. Jesus Christ gave his life for us. Can't you take dakika kidogo of your business schedule? Na uweze kufikia mtu wabaye haja okoka. Yesu anasema ya kwaba alitoa maisha yake. He died. Na wewe haufai kukufa kwa sababu alikufa. Na Yesu wakulizi ukufe. Lakini kuna kitu moja na kuliza. Ya kwamba uweze kufikia awa bao hawaja okoka. Ebu sikia vile Yesu anasema verse 14. John 15, 14. You are my friends if you do what I command you. You are the friends of Jesus if you do what he commands you. Wewe ya bayo meokoka na unasema Yesu ni bwana. Is Jesus your friend? If you are friend of Jesus Christ anasema ya kwamba you are my friends if you do what I command you. What are you commanding as Jesus? Ebu du skia verse 15. No longer do I call you servants for the servant does not know what his master is doing. But I have called you friends. For all that I have heard from my father, I have made known to you. Verse 16. And I say, my you did not choose me, but I chose you and appointed you that you should go and bear fruit so that your fruit should abide. So that whatever you ask the father in my name, he will give it unto you. This Jesus, who is a great friend of ours. Anasema ya kwamba, I'm revealing to you the business. Ambayo menileta hapa. Na biashara ambayo menileta hapa, ni kuweza kufikia mioyo. Na anasema hivi verse 16. Hamu kunichagua. Hamu kunichagua. Mimi diye niliwachagua. Na nikawatuma muwede mukanizalia matuni. I have chosen you brothers and sisters. The chosen few. Wale ambao wa meokoka. Yesu wabaya anasema ya kwamba. Nyinyi ni marafiki wangu mukifanya kila ni nawambia. Anasema ni mekuchagua brother. Onyango ni mekuchagua. Atieno ni mekuchagua. Mutuko ni mekuchagua. Peter ni mekuchagua. Silas ni mekuchagua. I have chosen you Lucy. Ili uweze kuenenda unizalie matu. Jesus is sending every brother and every sister to bring to bear fruit. Na anasema matunda ambayo ni ya kudumu. Na vile tumekuwa tukiangalia ni ya kwamba matunda haya ya kudumu ni souls of men. The souls of men and women, boys and girls. If we are the only people about to tareta harvest katika ufalme wa Bwana. Sisi peke yake ndio tutaweza kutumika kuleta mavuno katika ufalme wa Bwana. Have you been bearing fruit for Jesus? Tunasemanga ya kwamba We shall come rejoicing Bring in the chiefs Utakuwa Na mavuno gani Ni mavuno gani Ni watu wangapi ambao Anaweza sema Niliokoka kupitia kuhubiliwa na huyo mtu Katika hiyo miyako Meka kwa salvation How many people have you witnessed to Mahali unafanya kazi my brother Do they know you are born again 
Tumeakisha taya yesu wama ulifunikia na debe. It's a high time brothers and sisters all over the world to do this as urgent time. Haya ni masaya emergency. We need to rescue people from the kingdom of the world, from the kingdom of evil, from the kingdom, from destruction. And the only way is to point them to Jesus. Let's arise, let's wake up church. Tujue kazi hii ambao tuliachiwa. Anasema niliwaita na nikawatuma. Muende mukanizalia matunda na matunda yenu yaweza kudumu. And part B Jesus Christ anasema maneno ya nguvu sana anasema ya kwamba So that whatever you ask my father in my name he may give it unto you. Mukishani zalia matunda chochote kile mtamuoba baba kwa jina langu ataweza kuwapatia. Je, yawezekana milango ya kanisa, milango ya watu wameokoka imefugana kwa sababu wamekataa kutii the great commission? Je, yawezekana tumekosa kufunguliwa milango kwa sababu ya our disobedience? Is the high time we campaign for Jesus? Is the high time we start reaching out to those who are not born again? So as we come to the conclusion of today's program, let this be a challenge. Let this be a challenge. Now Julize because for the two weeks to me kwetu kihubilia watu. Have you acted? Have you told somebody about Jesus? If you have not done it, let this be the day. Change begins with you and the time to change is now. Aza hiyo tabia sasa hivi. Start pleasing your friend Jesus Christ. And my brother and my sister, if you all do a little where God has positioned us. I want to believe we are going to change the environment. People will start loving God and we are going to get a great revival as we have been waiting for it. Where be by how jaokoka, the time to surrender your life to Jesus is now. If you like to give your life to Jesus, you can say that this short prayer and we all did it and Jesus Christ came into our hearts. Say Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. I open my soul unto you. In my soul I you. pray that you forgive my sin. I pray that you may forgive write my, my name sins. in the book of life. Write my name in the book From today I'll follow you. From today I'll follow I become my dear and become your disciple. Become your disciple. You have said that prayer. God bless you. You are now a Christian. You are born again. Go into a church. God is going to guide you. Tell your pastor you are being born again. And the Holy Spirit is going to guide you and to overshadow your life. Let's pray as we end the program. Father, we thank you because of your word. Jesus Christ, you are saying we are your friends if you obey what you tell us. Today you have reminded us about the great commission, the work you have given to us of going to the whole world and winning souls. Pray for our brothers and sisters that they are going to get courage. They are going to act upon your word in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Tunaombea wokovu na roho ya kuokoka na evangelism izaliwe katika mioyo yote ya watu wako. In Jesus name, let's say amen. Amen. God bless you. Let's meet tomorrow in the presence of the Lord. Bwana watende mema. There's a number on your screen. You can give us a good offering na itakuwa ni ya baraka kwetu. Tunashukuru sana. Muwe na wiki nzuri ya baraka. My soul says yes, says yes, says yes. My soul says yes, says yes to your will.